back here with the Monte Carlo. Uh, like I told you previously, a couple of days ago, sometime last week, my transmission went out on me. And this is what I've been doing. Uh, yeah, I haven't been making any videos to update anything. I'm just taking the I to just take the train, uh, engine out of the car engine and trying. You know, they stuck together. Famous transaxle. The famous GM 46. 4T65E transmission right here. This transmission is a workhorse, but because of the poor electrical system that it does have, it tends to be, you know, bullshit. Uh, took it out, and uh, this is my car right here. My baby looking all sick. There's no uh. There's no axles or nothing. Everything's taken out. Looking here, uh, I gotta get some some uh, sand to pick up this oil spill right here. Just a little bit of tranny came out, um, but this is the engine uh, bay right here. Brake booster, exhaust, rack and pinion. Uh, two things that I do leave intact is the power steering, which is right here, and uh, the AC unit, which is right here, the compressor. Those two don't come out the car. They stay in there. I don't want to have to try to bleed the power steering system or uh, have to keep putting free on every time I, I take the engine out. So the the AC unit stays in the car, and so does so does the, the, the power steering pump. But this is the build process and the continuation of trying to fix my transmission. Uh, it's two thousand dollars at the dealership, remanufactured. Uh, I have no choice but to get it. Well, I do have a choice of fixing this problem or getting another transmission with over one hundred fifty thousand miles on this. I think it's my best interest to just get another transmission. It comes with a three-year warranty, 100,000 miles. So, you know, I, I plan on keeping this car. You know, like I said, it's my car. It's been paid for since the day I bought it. It's been a pain in the ass since the day I bought it also, but this is my car. So I'm getting ready to tear the transmission apart. Uh, I have to check the torque converter. Uh, my torque converter clutch got damaged. Well, the sensor inside is, is stuck. That's what the, the error code telling me. So I'm just going to take the transmission apart from the engine. And uh, I'm going to check the torque converter. Because the TCC was replaced by me approximately a year ago. So I got to check the torque converter and see if that's the cost of this. Even if it's fucked up or anything like that, I'm, I'm still going to have to go to the dealership and get another tranny. And buy a brand new torque converter so that's the ideal fix for this right now uh, the one from the dealer is remanufactured it's a reman it's not new they don't have new of these anymore it's remanufactured for two grand one thousand nine hundred and ninety eight dollars plus tax so tomorrow I'll be at Chevy oh yeah they want the old one too so tomorrow I'll be at Chevy paying up whatever amount is and uh, I'll be bringing this shit to them and let them deal with that shit. Uh, it's been a frustrating journey with this car, but you know, I've enjoyed myself. This is something that I wanted to do, which is buy a car, fix it up, make it how I wanted to make it and have it belong to me. So this is the build process of the MC. You look at my previous videos, you see that I've done almost everything possible to this car as far as rebuilding everything. When I say rebuild, I don't mean taking things apart and transforming them over again. When I say rebuild, I mean as in taking all the old non-perishable items, I guess, and re-putting new items in the car so 
from purge canister to a simple gas cap to an electrical wire or an electrical harness or anything that does no good that needs to be replaced I've done it to this car so this is my definition of rebuilding I'm I'm doing this by myself for myself I'm taking apart this car well I've taken apart this car and I replaced nearly everything I found to be a problem to it so again this is the quick update engine is out of the car uh, this is not a repeat video I can show you the inside of the car you'll see my crescendo audio is right here and if you go in the trunk you'll see my triple X's already audio is there so this is an up-to-date video this is not an old video of me taking apart the transmission again this is this is new shit so this is my day for today Sunday St. Patrick's Day 17th live here Miami Florida working on my day off it's a nice engine isn't it it looks better in the car running making itself useful <laughs>